My life had fallen into disarray, and everything around me was slowly turning dark and difficult. I needed clarity because I had some important decisions to make. I had recently taken vows with a group of monks, and now I was on a journey of self-discovery. But what I didn't know was that I still had a great deal of turmoil to come to terms with inside of me. As I stepped off the bus in Tasco, Mexico, I was filled with a sense of wonder and excitement, and yet simultaneously I was completely scared out of my mind. The thoughts in my head were screaming at me, what are you doing here? However, I had passed the point of no return, so I had nothing left but to make this arrangement work. Mexico was going to be my home for the next year. Once I reached the hacienda, I was struck with a sense of awe and wonder. The grounds had an old church at the property's entrance. My mind was swimming with curiosity about the place that would be my new home. If I became quiet enough, I wondered would the grounds reveal their secrets. But by the end of my time there, I prayed that the grounds would never reveal mine. There were many adventures and misadventures ahead of me. Surrounded by peaceful loving monks and students, my time at the Hacienda became anything but a peaceful, loving time. Instant popularity soon turned into a fall from grace that I had no idea how I was going to fix. And after a twisted tale of forbidden love, I knew I had to regroup and make good use of my time away. But then, a trip to the pyramids outside of Mexico City changed everything after I had a mystical experience.